no money spent another great weekend 22 wins with this team if you guys missed the updates on the team what i was working with make sure you guys go check that out in the previous video man we still got judy we still got herbert we still got the goons everything's looking good this team is getting tough it is now a 25 and 0 bust team now if you want to go ahead and watch these live, twitch.tv slash dub.net link is below. All the offenses, defenses, special teams you see, MaddenTurf.com, that's below. Skimbo actually just dropped his ebook on Madden Turf, so you can cop that too. But if you have the premium membership, like I've been telling you guys all year to get, you can get that. All these come with the premium membership. Mine, Skimbo, Clef, CC, whoever puts out tips, whoever puts out ebooks, you get those. So I told you guys all year, get that premium membership. You will be satisfied. But I do want to tell you guys about this chocolate challenge, chocolate, white lightning. You guys know we've been doing death nuts, peanuts, uh, the one chip challenge, hot sauce, the hot one sauce. I've done it all, dominated every hot challenge there is. Now, I put my boys on Clef and, and User and Boogs. We're all going to do this white lightning challenge. This is uh, It is the white chocolate infused with 12 of the world's hottest peppers. Um, uh, we're not going to ask for subs for this or anything like that. What we're going to ask for is actually we want to raise $5,000 for the uh, Feeding America. You know, there's people in the world out here that are not even in the world in our own country that aren't able to eat, and especially with the pandemic going on. Everything's changing for different people. We are blessed to be in a position to just play video games. So this is our way to give back and hopefully try to raise $5,000. I mean, that link is below. You can go ahead and chip in. You can write a note. You can write a message, whatever you want. I check it every single day on the stream gonna start checking it on youtube too man so make sure you guys check it out check that link below uh if you follow me on social media you probably already know about this especially if you watch the podcast if you don't you're missing out there but let's go ahead and to get into the best game of no money spends weekend league now i'll be i'll be honest wasn't that many good games i had to scrape the bottom of the barrel for a good one for you guys um I'm kind of rolling through the bots with this team, man. I really feel like it's a 25 and old bust. It's almost to the point where there's not that much fun anymore. It's not that much challenge. My team is kind of OP. It's not OP, but it's just as good as everybody else's. It was a little bit more challenging when we had Cam Makers and the boys out there. But let's go ahead, get into this gameplay, and I'll show you my rewards after the game. So make sure you stay tuned. All right, boys. So. One of the things I need to upgrade right now is Matthew Bredo on my kickoffs. He's been fumbling a lot for me. But that boy Herbert, uh, the best in the business. Uh, I, I honestly, I think I want to keep Herbert until he gets that gets that 90 overall and can get Gunslinger. He is a strong arm quarterback. He really gets the ball out of there. This set feet lead, it's a good ability. It's not quite Gunslinger, so I can't wait till Herbert gets a little bit of an update. This is the 89 Herbert, as you guys know. If you watch the video, look at what my team. I have full Medcalf. We have Tyreek Hill one spot below his, his most recent upgrade to go ahead and get that 97 speed, I believe, uh, whatever it may be. And we see right here the Tyreek Kill, the 94 speed Tyreek Kill going to the Baja on a hitch. That's the type of energy. That's the type of playmaking you need, uh, especially if you're playing with a lesser team. You need somebody to give you a couple big touchdowns. Um, and I'll be honest, I have started playing defense on this team, kind of how I play on my main team. A lot of man coverage, uh, a lot of high pressure. Uh, you're going to get rid of the ball. You're going to make a read fast. I'm going to try to pick you off. As you see right here, third and 10. There's no time for your crossing routes, no time for your slants. Fourth and 20, same thing, but we give up a deep pass right there to lock it, and he holds on. Um, I do have Dante Jackson. This guy is an absolute freak. If you guys are not uh, have him on your team, he has to play somewhere. He's just entirely too fast to not have on the field. I'm going to use him, and when you have that much of a weapon, 96, 97 speed, the best way you can get the most out of that player is to use him. Uh, and that's what I'm going to do with Dante Jackson, both on the main team as we get a huge user hit stick fumble right there. Change the tie. He was kind of moving the ball. Come up with the big fumble right there to get the ball back. We're up by seven points. Got to get a lead. Herbie and the boys. We're going to go up top right here to that man, Jerry Judy. 60 yard, just absolutely dropped in a bucket. 89, Justin Herbert. The MVP of this team, finding Judy deep over the top. Uh, great pass. Honestly, one of the best passes you'll see all year from Herbert right there, finding Jerry Judy. 
Once again, there's that pressure. There's Lawrence Taylor. Getting Lawrence Taylor. I have Brian Burns. We come off the edge right there with Dante Jackson. Little user rush. Make him uncomfortable. Make him know yet you're there. And you can go get that, uh, put some pressure on him. And right here, he just absolutely torches me with Tyree Kill. My team is one, one tick a little bit slower uh, than most teams. But... We're going to have to do something about that after these rewards here. So, But we do get scorched by Tyreek Hill there. Uh, Tyreek Hill is going to beat everybody right now. That new Blitz card, I hope you guys have it. It's a difference maker. Tyreek's back to being the best receiver in the game. Um, I've seen him actually have 99 speed. I know on my, mind, my main team, he has 98 speed. Uh, and that's going to be my goal, hopefully, after this weekend league, is to get that Tyreek Hill, put the full Tyreek Hill on his team with Metcalf and with uh, McCaffrey and uh, Jerry Judy. Right here, we almost throw a pick. I'm telling you, the sidelines suck this year. Uh, you could, It's hard to really pass there, but we're going to find Christian McCaffrey over there. The sidelines, when they stand there, as soon as you throw it, they just run right in the coverage as we see Christian McCaffrey getting the ball in. I, and I want to upgrade McCaffrey, but part of me with this team, guys, is I don't want to just have the same exact team. as You know, I feel like I can have Josh Allen and I can have Reggie Bush right now. And I could literally have the same team as my real team. You know, and that was kind of the goal of this whole series. And like, I can have my exact identical team without spending any money, right? And I can do that. But for me, the fun in this series is having new different players, having the Herberts, having the Jerry Judys, having the Christian McCaffreys uh, as we get to halftime of this game. So that's the dilemma I'm in right now, man. Do I Should I just try to get the most bomb squad I can with no money spent? Or do I mix it up as he has a touchdown, but he didn't find the running back in time? Uh, so that's one of the dilemmas I'm dealing with, man. I, I I could really geek this team out and have Reggie Bush, Josh Allen, Gunslinger, all that. But I like the, I like the different players, man. I feel like it's more fun to watch. I definitely more fun for me to play, uh, mixing up the players and and getting getting tight, that little bit of momentum. And honestly, Christian McCaffrey is due for an upgrade. So I think I want to go ahead and keep him at running back. We still have Finley at tight end as we give up a fourth and five right here to Reggie Bush. Um, we're up by 14 in the second half, so we feel good until we give up this 0-1 trap to Bo Jackson. That's a big, what, 36, 34-yard rushing touchdown. Now we're only up by seven. So let me know below in the comments, man. I, I, I feel like keeping some of these underdog players is the move for no money spent, man. I just want, I just want you guys to realize that we could have... <laughs> Reggie Bush, and we could have uh, Darren Waller. We could have Chad Johnson if we wanted those players, man. But uh, part of me just really is never going to get rid of Jerry Judy in the slot. He's a monster. And uh, Christian McCaffrey, he's not that good anymore. He's 89 speed, so uh, it's tough to use him when everybody else is running around with 95, 96 speed running backs. Um, but that's the beauty of no money spent man i want to make it seem like i can i can get it done with pretty much any card as justin herbert scrambles for a cool seven yards right there uh if we score a touchdown here this game is cooked and we do that right now dk metcalf over the top touchdown up by 14 three minutes left feeling great about this game man like i said let me know in the comments do any of you guys uh did any of you guys does the, do you like this series has it changed your mind at all man are you guys uh surprised that my team has gotten this good that i have Dion, i had drc i have uh denzel ward i have pretty much every player i can get uh and right there lime uh swede has to tackle reggie bush almost get a pick there but he gets the ball off closing on a two minute warning of this game uh he tries to go up top we need that intercepted by somebody it's just too much traffic not to get get the ball right there right here he brings pressure but hits the seam and i don't cover lock it and we give up a touchdown now we're only up by seven i feel like i just donated some points to him this game uh trying to take this to the two minute warning but i can't we're just one first down we'll be in good place right here to go ahead and, and seal this game close it out right here hit that man jerry judy again first and ten we need a first down right here that's what we need to do uh, all day, I actually get sacked by Herbert. Not the worst. I make him use a timeout, but we lose 11 yards. Next play, we're going to go underneath to Jermichael Finley. Pick up a couple. Great animation to stay in bounds, but we get we we uh, don't get that many yards. And right here, Metcalf doesn't fire. But we got a fourth in inches. We're going to go for this. We're going to hit the flat wide open. And look at that animation. No momentum, and we just get stopped. So now we have to get a stop. One thing to do, man, when your back is up against the wall, boys, go get the quarterback. If you're getting dotted, if someone's having success on you, go get the quarterback. Don't overthink defense. Don't overthink anything. Make them make a read. This is what we're going to do. Blitz six people. No. 
incomplete tw a minute 28 left we're going to blitz six people seven people again sacked right there jonathan abram he's going to be in no huddle mode right now third and 20 on the 37 yard line listen i will always tell you when your back is up against the wall send everybody full send right here again we're going to come around the edge with dante jackson user rush sack get him in a big fourth and 28 and you might as well Put this one in the fridge. The jello's jiggling. The ice is frozen. Here it is. We're going to go ahead and just send. Once again, we're going to send six. Try to use a rush off this edge. We're going to have nothing but deep blues. Find somebody, please. Just got to make a tackle. We send everybody. He picks up the pressure, but the quarterback's so tired. Throws that absolute potato up there for prime time. And you know where prime time is going to take it to the Baja to finish the game right here, man. So. There it is, man. No money spent, man. I absolutely love playing with this team. I love rocking with them. Uh, like I said, I, I had this dilemma where do I really, you know, want to get the best players? Do I want to get Reggie Bush? Do I want to get Waller? Do I want to geek out the team? Or do I want to keep playing with some of the lesser cards to make it a little more fun? We'll see. Let me know what you guys think. But let's go ahead and get into my rewards because that's why we play Weekend League. All right, boys. So here are my rewards. All these packs are going to be quick sales. I'm going to take the coins with all of those. And my coins for being top 100 should be a good payday. We have this 190 overall player. Who are we going to get? That's the key to this thing. And we get a NFL 50 player. Madden 50, Jonathan Ogden, 93 overall. That's a bust out pull. Great pull. Big W's in the comments. Uh, that's going to give us another 200K for our no money spent team, man. So this is it. Now I'm sitting at almost a million coins. We are at 955,121 coins, man. So if you guys want to see what I'm going to do next with no money spent, man, make sure you hit that like button and stay tuned for the next episode of No Money Spent. If you want to watch it live, you know where to do that.